OK, so you want to create a four quadrant chart in Microsoft Excel. In my scenario, I'm plotting turnover against staffing costs. And that shows me in this quadrant here, the worst performing branches, with the highest staffing costs and the lowest turnover. OK, let's see how we can create this chart. So the first thing you want to do is select the two columns you want to plot on your chart and go to insert. In the charts group, you're going to create a scatter graph. Just going to make the chart a little bit bigger. I want to change the minimum value on the horizontal axis to 100,000 and the maximum value to 400,000. So to do that, I'm going to double click on the horizontal axis and then I can change the minimum bounds here to 100,000 and the maximum bounds to 400,000. Next, I'm going to get rid of the grid lines. So I click on this plus button, chart elements, untick grid lines. I want some axis titles and I'm going to link the axis titles to the column headings. With the vertical axis title selected, I go to my formula bar type equals and I click in the relevant column heading. Press enter. Same down here for the horizontal axis title. Select the box, click in the formula bar type equals, click in the relevant column heading, press enter to confirm. Now I also want to show data labels for each of these data points. So I'm going to go back to the plus button. I'm going to go to data labels, but I'm going to go to the sub menu and then to more options. Then I'm going to click on this button here, label options, expand label options, untick Y value, select value from cells, and then select the branch names. Next, I want a border all the way around the plot area. So I'm just going to click into an empty space within the chart. Then I'm going to click on this fill and line button. Then I'm going to go down to borders. It may not be expanded. I'm going to go to solid line and I'm going to increase the width to 1.25. I've now got a border around the plot area. So next, I need my vertical line and my horizontal line to create the four areas in the chart. And this is why I have these values here. So for the vertical line, that needs to split the chart vertically at the halfway point on the horizontal axis, which is 250,000. So I've got my X axis values at 250,000 and the line needs to start at zero on the Y axis up to the maximum value on the Y axis, which is why I have these Y axis values. Now the horizontal line needs to split the chart horizontally. So that's why the Y axis values are 60,000 and the line needs to stretch from the minimum value on the X axis to the maximum value on the X axis, which is why I have these values. So how do I create those two lines? Well, with the chart selected, go to Chart Design, select Data, click on Add here. Don't worry about your series name. Series X values, that'll be these values here. Series Y values, get rid of what's already in that box and select your Y axis values. Click on OK. Now I need to do the same for the horizontal line. So I go to Add, X axis values are here, Y values are here. Click on OK. Click on OK. So you can see I've got four dots, but unfortunately it's automatically increased the maximum value on the vertical axis. So I double click again on the vertical axis. I'm going to change my maximum value back to 120,000. So I have the two coordinates for each line. Now to create the line between the coordinates, this is what you do. Double click on one of the markers there. Click on the fill and line button. Expand line if necessary, go to solid line and then change your width. I'm gonna make it 1.25. There's my vertical line. Now I'm gonna do the same for the horizontal line. So I select the marker, solid line, change the width to 1.25. Now the only other thing that you might have to do is get rid of the data labels for these markers. So if I select that marker there, go to my plus button, untick data label, then I need to do the same for this marker, untick data label. 
Okay, the branches that are within this quadrant are the ones that are of concern. They have high staffing cost, but low turnover. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.